heard them. Um, so first of all, to go over, we're on Void. Um, rally Barricade, High Lift, uh, Shield Throw, and Vortex Grenade, you could run. Um, the Shield Bash, if you wanted, just depends on your personal preference. And uh, you can use either... Where is it? You can use, for this build, specifically Vortex, uh, Void Wall, Void Spike, or Axion. Um, we're going to use Vortex. Our two aspects are Controlled Demolition and Bastion um, for Overshields and Volatile. Our three fragments are Echo of Remnants, Echo of Instability, and Echo of Persistence. Our exotic weapon we have Excalibur. Um, it's the whole point of the build. And for our exotic armor piece, we're running Synthos to buff the melee damage. Um, that's kind of what this whole thing synergizes around. So you've got your intrinsic trait where it fires a void spread um, instead of a single bolt. Uh, it has a quick draining shield, and when you block damage, uh, it bestows um, void overshields to you and nearby allies. And you deal additional, additional melee damage while protected by an overshield, um, defeating targets with a melee uh, while the overshield is active will refresh it. So it's a really good support um, survivability exotic, um, and it's brand new. So I figured we would give it a shot. Um, as far as our build goes, as you can see, everything is masterworked, but everything doesn't have any mods on it. I figured this would be a good way to kind of go over with the new mod system, what you kind of want to be on the lookout for. As you can see, these are our base stats um, without any mods. So we are going to go ahead and try to get those as buffed up as we can while also putting on some mods to uh, increase the uh, normal gameplay loop. So first on our helmet, we are going to start off by getting our resilience up. Um, we are going to go with special ammo finder because it's a glaive and it's a special weapon so we're going to need ammo we're going to be going through it a lot if you focus on using it as the main part of the build and it is also void so let's do where is it a uh, void rapid void weapon final blows create an overpower um, that should count even as a melee final blow which is what we're going to be going for so that'll help and then we will throw on powerful friends to not only um, help us out, um, but help our allies out, because it's also a support build, um, in theory. So we'll throw that on there. That just makes it so that uh, when we get Nord power, um, it increases our allies by giving them uh, an armor charge. So we are going to go to our arms now, throw on another... Um, resilience mod. I know they nerfed resilience at the beginning of this season, but I still like to run 100 resilience for the damage resistance, especially now that I'm almost at 1800, so almost at that pinnacle cap, so we're going to be looking at doing higher in content. Um, we are going to throw on a hmm actually go back up here So I lied. Um, no, I didn't. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. We don't necessarily need to worry about getting our super back from grenades, but we do need to get that up. So that's going to give us our class ability um, when we do damage with a melee attack. And we are going to do the same thing for our grenade cooldown. And we're going to do the same thing for our class ability when we throw a grenade. So this is all, this, these three slots are all about getting your abilities back, um, and you'll see we'll do the same thing um, on our uh, mark as well. So down here we are going to throw on the lowest resilience mod, get us to 100. We are going to throw on concussive dampener. We're going to throw on a void resistance and a solar resistance. This is because now we have AoE resistance, void resistance from Vex enemies, and void resistance from solar enemies, which are uh, Cabal, and um, with Lightfall being completely focused on Vex and Cabal, this tends to work out pretty well in any content that you're running. So now we are going to work on our recovery. So the two most important stats, in my opinion, um, 
our resilience and recovery and I'm glad to see that the stream is working properly so that's good um, now we are going to do the void weapon surge because um, we are going to be picking up orbs and we're going to be using a void weapon aka the glaive uh, as much as we can so anything we can do to boost its damage um, we are then going to do the same thing when we pick up an orb power um, reduces our grenade cooldown and do it for our class ability um, now we're going to go down to our mark and we are going to do a recovery mod we are going to do an outreach, a bomber, and then a distribution. So what these three mods do is when you cast your um, ability, it's going to give you ability energy for all three. Since we're going to be casting our barricade a lot to get an overshield to buff the Vex Caliber, this will just play into um, helping make that gameplay loop all the better. So as you can see, um, these are the mods that we are running right now. I don't know if you want to take a screenshot or do whatever, but this is what we have. Um, as you can see, like I said earlier, these are the weapons we are running. And so we will see... What was that little logo I just saw? Oh, that's from... Okay, that's cool. I, I, there, those, The mods from the Season Pass are now... Um, passively applied and that's the first time I really looked over at that side of the screen so now I know what that is and you do as well so let's see what our quests are looking like and so I need to complete the partition activity this is the third part of the um, new uh, heavy exotic glaive quests so Vex incursion zone. Where is the partition at? Is it not tracked? Blue Jay. Okay, well, we will go there. Let's see if anybody in our clan is on right now. See if they want to join. This thing is beefy, even for being a special, so... Ready to take on some bounties? Okay, okay. You got it! Oh, darn me, I made it. There we go. Big bet. And as you can see, it is kind of like a shot. It's almost like a cross with a point in the middle compared to your normal um, bolt from any other glaive. Besides the new, the new heavy one, it shoots out more. numbers. And as you can see, it looks like it does glow purple whenever you have... See, 10... 10k? Okay, so let's try... this. I'd like to wait for another... So 10 285 on a minor. As you can see, the bolt does not do a whole lot by any means. The biotic on, we're pulling 30k with the new shield. That's significantly higher. Um, and that's from the uh, Synthoseps. 
30k. Bring them on over here. Let me see. Okay, so now we've got Volatile. We'll hit him. And the Volatile doesn't proc off of a melee, but it's still. Oh, and the Death Might. It's very weird. Very weird. Definitely something to keep in mind. The, the mileage on this <laughs> weapon may vary depending on what buffs and debuffs you're applying, but I mean, 30k for a special glaive on a, a melee? It's pretty good. I don't know if it's necessarily worth, you know, using your exotic slot for, 